What's up guys, it's the Golden Eagle. So, I do a little bit of Borderlands 2 modding, and here's, I'm just going to do a quick tutorial that some people get confused on with this software, Brute Force, right there. I don't do any Xbox modding, so nobody please request that. Um, this right here is just Brute Force, you know, version 3.8. Um, I will link this, by the way, just in case you guys want to download, you know, Brute Force and the new Gibbs Save Editor. So, it, um, it's pretty easy, actually, but some people still get confused because they think you can just pop it in, decrypt your save, and you're good, but that's not exactly what it is. So, here's Brute Force, so you guys can see it. Let me just open it up a little more. So, here, here right here, this is Brute Force. Um, if you just go straight to decrypt, you can practically ruin your save, so I've heard. I've never really tested. But, uh, here's a save that I just uploaded so I can do the tutorial with it. Save 0025. And you net, you don't go straight for decrypt. You have to come right here to verify. Click on verify. You'll see it go down. And it'll end up going in red. See that? Uh, I already have account create. I already have an account created, but you guys might have to actually make an account, but just click yes once it's done. You'll see it go right back through the verify process. Once, you know, it's a little bit of lag because of the fact that I'm filming, but, um, there we go. Come on. There you go, Brute Force. Look. Done. See, last time I said disk hash key was a fail and console hash key was like a no. Now it's all fixed. Now you just got to decrypt. Boom. Then go over here, click on open. I'm doing this straight off my USB, hopefully you guys will too. You go to uh, your USB, go to PS3, save data, save whatever you are using, which mine is 0025. Make sure that the drop down right here, down to PS3. Double click. It'll load up. <sighs> Come on. I need to download the new Gib, uh, Gib myself. I have revision 224 and there's a revision 227 now. There we go. So I'm just going to bring this up to the top real quick. So you can see all of Brute Force now. You can click on character right here. Um, mine was originally an assassin, and I had these right here. This is the community day heads and skins, which you do not have to buy to equip using this. So you can still get them for free. Then go down here if you want to uh, click whatever class you want. You do not have to buy the Necromancer or Psycho to do this either. Already find I found that out. Alright, I'm going to swap back to my assassin. You see his overpowerment level right here. You can swap that to just whatever you want to. You know, it's a random number to look. So, just swap it to whatever you want. You'll end up doing something like that. But, uh, you go back. Customization. You can pick really whatever you feel like you want. Me, I'm going to go down here. I'm going to pick on the loot chest 2 Goliath helmet. And I'm going to go down here and click, oh yeah, these right here, you actually do have to buy. So I'm going to click on the Cleansing Fire, it's a DLC skin, you do have to buy that to use it, sadly, you know, life's unfair, some shit. So, um, you can go right here and mod any weapon that you want, literally absolutely any weapon or grenade mod or anything, see, like I modded this. Uh, you can click right here, do Power 2 d Mecromancer, you know, all those new things. Plus, they got the Bloody Harvest in the next one. They already have the Wild Gobbly DLC, so you guys should check that out. And if you go down here to the Raw tab, this is essential to Gibd. Thank you, Gibd, for creating this. Um, you can actually look through all of these, change your mission number uh, right here at the Black Market Upgrades. You change them all to like that, right there. You can give yourself infinite ammo after you do that, though. You have to go, huh, I think it's resource data, if I'm correct in that. I do believe it is. Oh, well, yeah, it is. See? 
and you uh you uh, you can like copy and paste that right there. So real simple. Uh, the actually the code that you use up in the black market upgrade, just copy that and keep putting it in the amounts of all of these. You know it'll rocket launcher all of that, and it'll make them all infinite ammo. So. That's something easy. Uh, if you want to mod your skills, you go right here to skill data. Pop that up. You can make everything that you want there, all like a level five and all that stuff. Right now, this is all psycho, but it's you know it's because I had to reload my save so I could show you guys this. But um, yeah, that's practically it. That's really all you have to do is just that. Uh, you cannot really mod your max bank slots anymore, so that's sort of like worthless. But um, you got your new weapon data and world discovery list. Plus, there there is new keys right here. You see the import skills, missions, world, and stats. If you have another save like the one that I have that has a modded um really anything modded on it, like if you completed the whole story mode on one and all the side missions and everything, you can it import missions and then import world? And you'll have everything unlocked and done on that save. And you can import your skills, which have not done yet. It's pretty cool though. You can like so you go right here, I'm just gonna save data. Just like that, and it'll import the skills. It'll say error. Whoa. What usually it says error and import successful, but I might I might need to reload that save. I haven't I I haven't modded it in a while, so you know. But um yeah pretty simple see like you can mod any shield grenade mod and, and even some ammo pools but that doesn't really work too well um do that all from gibbed right here and if you see these little paste code things someone gives you a code like let's say I want to give a friend of mine the blood of Terramorphus just copy the code I can like minimize this oh my bad I mean Minimize that too. And look, I can just paste it. That right there would be the code for the blood of Terramorphus. All you have to do really was just copy that. And uh, once you copy it, you can open up Gibd and click on the paste code button. And it'll make you a another blood of Terramorphus. See? Because there. So there you guys go. That's an easy. um sort of a gibbed and brute force thing it's very easy I'm gonna leave a link for Black Widow Stang's post about gibbed and that also works for Xbox you put the stuff that you'll need for Xbox like a horizon download too so if you guys are into Xbox PC or anything he has them all there you guys should check that out so thank you guys for watching and I'll see you guys next time